our Nigerian spiritual fathers, most especially Pastor Adeboye, has advised us Nigerians to pray for our leaders instead of fighting them. And one of my fear towards any wicked leader, and all those wicked leaders, eh? one of my greatest fears is that God shouldn't give them the opportunity to repent. Because this God is a merciful God. Eh? If they repent, God is a merciful God. It can just wipe away all sins from, from them. Yeah. God is a really, really merciful God. So my prayer and my greatest fear is that God giving them an opportunity to repent on heart. That's my greatest fear towards these wicked leaders. I wish they don't ever repent. They should die in their sins. Then they will reap the repercussion of what they did. Well, that being said, Let's talk about Desiani. Desiani was the former minister of petroleum during Golok Jonathan regime. And this woman was allegedly accused of stealing close to 30 billion or misappropriating close to 30 billion US dollars while she was the minister of petroleum. Her property was seized in Nigeria. She ran away. During the Buhari regime, and she has been moving from one country to, our, or to the other, she eventually fell sick. And now she's in UK facing some kind of uh, bribing case over there. And now, guess what? This is Desiani is asking, begging Nigerians to forgive her that she has repented, that she is now for Jesus Christ. She is now for God and she is begging Tunubu that she wants to come back home. <laughs> so according to the former petroleum minister who was accused of stealing Nigerian money, amounting to billions of US dollars, revealed that she is now ready to open up about the money she allegedly misappropriated while in office as the minister of petroleum. She said, I am a born again Christian and currently suffering from second stage cancer, which my United Kingdom physician advised me to continue taking medication for the rest of my life. Yes, no human is perfect, but sometimes God Almighty allows some of some of such to happen. I have been accused of misappropriation when I was the petroleum minister, which is true, but I would like the President Bola Ahmed Tunubu and Nigerians to forgive me to come back home and offer my contribution because life is temporary. The Ziani said in tears, My husband and my entire family member include my Nigerian lawyer based in the UK, knew my relationship with Dauda Lawa Dari, the current Zamfara state governor, who I entrusted over $9 billion for safekeeping while he was the executive director of the First Bank of Nigeria, PLC. Unfortunately, it has now come to a point that Mr. Dauda Lawa is no longer picking my phone calls and even work in collaboration with the UK police to put me under surveillance. May, maybe he claim the money I entrusted to him when I die. Maybe to claim the money you entrusted to him. You entrusted money to him, $9 billion, as if the money is your private money. You see how our, gov our leaders are deal with us? Whenever they are in this city, they think that business is their family business. Someone took $9 billion of Nigerian money when it was already recorded that more than 80% of Nigeria are wallowing under poverty ridge. Took $9 billion of Nigerian money and gave it to someone for safekeeping. As if my money, 
and not just only that. Don't forget, this woman was the woman that was buying diamond bra, golden pants. You know, like I've said before, my fear is that God will give leaders the opportunity to repent. Because God is indeed a merciful God. And God, again, eh, is rot. God rot can never be matched with any other rot. He is the most merciful and is the greatest punisher. Yeah. You, you have to know these two things about God. Once you know the two things about God, ah, you, will, you will seek the better side of God. He is the most merciful and is the greatest punisher. You will never witness any punishment that anybody will give to you. And you will never compare it to God. Because if God and make God will give you a, you will be so surprised. So, God is the greatest punisher and is the most merciful. So, you pick the side you want to pick. Do you want to pick God's wrath or you pick God's mercy? So, this woman is apologizing. I don't know if she's apologizing because of the UK court case. I don't know if it is about really, she is indeed sorry and she wants to confess. So, well, you know, Nigeria politics, they have a way of playing their politics. So, me, I have no hand with no politicians. I just reported this and let me know exactly how you feel. They thank God. CBN just lifted ban on cryptocurrency. Governor Mifele almost blamed cryptocurrency traders for Naira falling against dollar. He blamed everything on cryptocurrency. Then after that, he blamed it on the on the on the bureau to change. After that, he blamed it on banks. After that, he would blame it on ordinary Nigerians who don't even know the meaning of dollar. That was what Governor Mifele did to us. That was what that man did to Nigeria. Introduce Naira redesign. For what? For what? Apparently spent more than 1 billion Naira eh? defending Naira redesign in court. Oh, oh man. Nigeria eh, is like a cash cow. It's cash cow for these politicians. For these men in power. Nigeria is a cash cow to them. You spent uh, spent 1.7 billion defending Naira redesign in court. Apparently, according to the news, this man has over say according to Sahara reporter, they said Nigeria Air Central Bank Governor Emifele lodged 542 million pounds in fixed deposit in UK bank. Illegally kept billions of naira in US, Chinese, other banks. Abba, when are we going to learn? We are still trying as much as possible to locate, to get back a bachelor's loot. Just imagine if this man is taking this kind of money out of Nigeria. Year after, we'll be trying to recover all those loot that you looted. Just imagine those politicians that we have not heard about. Because there's this parable. Now, who thief they know? Who, who no thief, no be thief? Now, who they catch, now be thief. So, what about that politician that we do not know about their issue yet? I don't know. 542 million pounds. In fixed deposit in UK banks. They don't love Nigeria. They don't care about Nigeria. They hate this motherland. That is why they want to develop other people's country. That's why they want to see other people's economy grow way more than their own. Nigeria is too rich to be poor. Nigeria is too rich for anybody to suffer. It's too rich for anybody to suffer for crying out loud. Nigeria is way too rich. That is why I keep saying, God has blessed us with all those riches. Give us a credible mind, strong youth. Then what else are we asking from God? Maybe we want God to send down Jesus Christ, send down an angel to come and fight for us. Do you really think God really uh, 
really uh, have that time for Nigerians when when he has given you everything? Have you ever checked the universe to check how significant the Earth is in this our universe? Not even talking about other universes eh? that you think God, with all He has given to Nigeria, with good weather, sound minds, good brains, the population, and yet you want Him to come down to fight your battle? You are on serious. <laughs> so Emifele, Kai. There are so many other things so he did though. How he legally owns banks. He sold banks to himself. There was a CCTV camera that saw him going to CBN vote to to, to withdraw, to pick six point something million US dollars. These are just his own. Though. What about other people made they eat on that ramp? What about other uh, uh, other officer that ate under him? Because as a me fell and eat. Like uh, 500 or something million pounds, the rest are sure the person under him or order under him gonna go, going to eat like 20 million pounds or something million pounds now. Yes, now it goes down just like that. Nigerians, what's up? I'm tired.